Welcome back guys and today we have Zaire. Now Zaire is a one year old boy that has never ever cut his hair in his life. Now we all have been here as barbers and we understand what's coming our way. It can mean crying, it can mean yanking of sharp objects, it can mean eating our tools, it can mean that we need a lot of patience. Okay, so we have Zaire right here calm. He's sitting with his dad. A one-year-old, more than likely, he's not gonna be able to sit by himself. But I was about to get started and he noticed how I was gonna get started. He noticed my comb and he wanted to grab the comb. So I went ahead and grabbed my pink comb. Y'all know my pink comb, right? It's nice and bright. And I realized that it was gonna be enough for him to be distracted. If the parents don't have anything with them, go ahead and give them something that you have. Obviously, something that, that you're willing to lose. Like, that can break uh you know the, that comb is already broken so i don't mind giving it to him zaire i hope you enjoy the pink comb mr pink comb that's what i call him and look i'm grabbing the number three and going with the grain instead of against the grain guys and it wasn't my first choice but i realized as i was gonna try to go against the grain that it was gonna yank too much and look he's a one-year-old this is his first experience in the barbershop i'm trying to minimize getting him to the point where he's so upset that he never wants to come back i want him to come back zaire i want you to come back buddy so look i'm gonna go ahead and cut you with the grain and i understand it's not gonna be at the exact length that your dad has it but look it's a good foundation and i recognize that i'm gonna have to cut it a little bit lower so just be patient with me look sit right there zaire sit with dad just relax Watch what I'm doing and it's coming off. The three clothes is coming off. It's not where I want it, but I know I'm gonna go against the grain with a number four after I'm done going with the grain, all right? But look, he's already looking different from the get. Look at all that hair that just came out. Look at all that. Zaire, look at that. Look at that, buddy. How you think? What? No, you don't want it? No? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Yeah, don't cut the, the middle. Short, okay? no, 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 yeah. I wasn't gonna do that. No, no, that this I'll do it with scissors. Yeah, okay, I, I, I think I like it more. All right, guys, look, when it comes to starting this process, I'm gonna go with the highest guard, which is the four. And you know, when you're trying to control the head of a one year old, you can't apply too much pressure, guys. You have to kind of redirect, but if you notice a lot of tension, just let go and kind of do it one more time, a little less pressure, but just tilt as much as you can and go ahead and start using that guard i used the number four just to see how the hair was going to go ahead and react to it and i noticed he had a little bit of a patch on one side all right but that had nothing to do with me that had to do with the pulling so i felt that i didn't really want to go too short with it you know I, I'm, I'm fading down guys i'm gonna go ahead try to clear it out right now i have the number four around the crown area at this point i had to let go of the brush so i could control how much he was moving because it gets a little bit hard especially with these type of guards where it's not too short and you're trying to even it out his hair's real thin and you're trying to move around and maneuver the clipper as much as you can so you can even out the hair all across the board it would have been easy for me to just grab the number one i really wanted to grab the number one the lowest i took it was the one and a half guard on the sideburns which i would have liked the one guard but the one and a half guard was fine it, it definitely did what i needed it to do i prefer to have the sideburns shorter on all my clients i don't like the the sideburns to be the same tone sometimes the hair is a little bit thicker around those areas as well so it's a good way of controlling the balance of the shades of how the hair looks right so anyways mom was out here helping me she didn't even want me to cut too much off the top at this point she noticed how short the sides were i think at one point she thought i was going to try to run the clippers on top and i told her no 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 we're not doing that mom i'm just trying to even this out as fast as i can mom i appreciate the help though because mom is keeping him calm shout out to the dad though you know because dads we do our part we do our part <laughs> So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna put his feet all the way that direction and then put his back towards me. But like right there and then just we can switch if you want. You wanna switch? 
Okay, guys, I don't know if you recognized it earlier where I was trying to kind of redirect Zaire's dad to sit Zaire a certain way because look, let's let's try to work with the parents. Let's redirect the kids. If they're sitting with the kid, let's make them turn the kid so we can line the back of their necks up. In this case, that's what I did. Mom was helping me out, doing a great job. Dad, you were doing a great job too, Dad. You know, Zaire just wasn't trying to have it. But hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Look, there's something here that I want to talk about. There's something that all barbers are going to recognize and feel what I'm about to say. Y'all see that spot right there in the back of his neck? Look, I'm, I just did a little bit of research for y'all to find out what in the world this area was called. Obviously, it's around the nape area, but I knew it wasn't just the nape area. Check this out, guys. Check this out. So there's something called the... Hold up. Hold up. It's called the posterior cervical muscle group. The posterior cervical muscle group that that right there look when it comes to a child that area right there is one of the most difficult areas to deal with parents look guys huddle up again i'm gonna need y'all to never ask any of us barbers to try to give your child a ball taper when that area looks like that look when you're an adult it's more developed the muscle has expanded and and, and it's filled in but when it's a gap like that look it's just not possible in the case of Zaire, that's not what's going on. They're just asking me to line it up. Look, they didn't want a Picasso of a haircut. They just wanted his hair to be short. And I could do that. I can play that game. I can absolutely deliver on that. I just wanted to point out how it looks on a child when that area, what's it called again? All right, check this out, guys. From this angle, I knew I wanted to cut the top down a little bit, and I knew I was gonna do it with shears. Now, look, he got a little bit, he got a little bit excited, and he saw my shears and saw a shiny object and wanted to go and grab it, and I had to, you know, watch out. First of all, I gotta watch out for him not grabbing my shears, and I gotta watch out and make sure I don't stab mom, because, you know, some of us don't hold our shears correctly. Do I have shears? I don't have shears. Some of us don't give it the flip. You know that flip I do? that a lot of us do some of us don't do that so imagine if i still held them up and i'm moving around with the comb and i stab mom i don't want to stab mom oh my god that hurt that part hurt yeah, it's just oh a little it's just a little at one point, Zaire started moving a little bit too much once I started cutting the fringe area. And I, I wanted to do it all with shears. I felt like it was going to be simple, but it, it got to the point where he moved too much to the point where I felt like I was going to... It was it was becoming a little bit dangerous, Zaire. You feel me? You were moving a little bit too much for me to feel comfortable. So I went ahead and did clipper over chrome. I did. Uh, I saw this on the internet with the verses uh, with Kenny Duncan, and, and I felt like it was worth giving it a try. Um, I liked it. I liked it. I do it once in a while. Um, with curls um this this comb right here i forgot the name of this comb but it, it the teeth are a little bit wider than the other combs the other flat combs i like it um it, it just grabs the hair pretty easily right so i'm cutting the hair i'm fluffing it up a little bit just to see how it looks i don't i didn't want to wet the hair um because it would have been a little bit harder for me to manage it and maneuver around it you see how like it's so long yeah we'll bring it down just a little bit yeah. I mean, I love it. searching for his hair he's actually searching for his hair look i get like that too zaire when i get frustrated when i get in deep thought i go ahead and start yanking at my beard so i understand a hundred percent that you were getting a little frustrated i think at this point we were in for like 20 minutes me cutting your hair while recording if it wasn't for recording zaire i promise you bro we would have been done by now but look at this point zaire mom dad we're gonna have to keep working together because i need him to move a little bit less okay i need him to stay still and it's hard it's hard but i need you guys when it comes to this type of service when it comes to curls on top get you that wide tooth comb all right and try to maneuver and go in sections i try to go with the horizontal sections and it was tough man i told mom that i was gonna leave the front a little bit longer that i was gonna cut around the crown just a little bit more so the, the so it just didn't look too bulky around the back um i did the same around the ridge you know pretty much the box graduation method um and and at that point after that i was just trying to even it out it, it was just tough to try to do that while he was trying to grab my comb or grab my shears moving around but look overall he was still doing a great job
cool. So after trying my best to do the shear work, I went ahead and grabbed the four and the three guard just to try to even out the ridge a little bit more. You know, in the in the beginning of the service, I try to just create some type of foundation. I didn't focus too much on the details. And again, I'm not even servicing him like an adult, guys. I'm trying to just move as fast as I can and give the parents of Zaire what they want. They want him to look similar to dad. I mean, I did my best. Oh, at the end though, always remember to uh, try to, you know, clear out their face. You know, I told you earlier that sound is something that definitely could get the child riled up. And in the barbershop, we have air compressors and the air compressors are so loud that they will make a child cry. All right. So towards the end of this glorious adventure, mom wanted me to define the curls a little bit. So I started wetting their hair, not too much, just enough to start seeing the curls be a little bit more defined. And I got some curl definition cream that we had. Some parents are okay with no product. They just want their hair short, but mom, she wasn't playing. She wanted those curls to be defined. Shout outs to mom. And after that, I went ahead and just did a little bit of more detail, cleaned around the sideburns. And I noticed that I missed a little spot towards the neck. And I get it because I was moving pretty fast around the neck. There was no reason to spend too much time around that. And after that, guys, look, Zaire, you went a whole year, bro. A whole year without cutting your hair. You let the curls flow. But sometimes, bro, you got to let the curls go. Hey! <laughs> Shout out to Zaire and his family. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. It was a great experience. I just want to kind of share a different perspective. I don't really do too many kid videos. Uh, they can be a little difficult at times, as y'all can see. Let me know in the comments below, what are your experiences with kids? Have they been more bad than good or have they been more good than bad? I feel like it's been pretty even for me. Um, overall, it was a great experience. So anyways, guys, have a blessed one. Have a great one. Keep pushing, keep leveling up. And until next time, Give me a pound, lock it down, break the pickle, tickle, tickle. See you later.